what's up everybody this is your girl miss p i hope that you are doing fabulous darling i am doing amazing and i am here to do another review for love and hip-hop new york city so go ahead and like this video subscribe if you haven't already it is free 99 and y'all know what i'm gonna say get into my favorite app which is feature points all you do is use my referral link down below you go ahead and play the games accumulate the points and then you cash them in for a bunch of good stuff over there so check it out also get into my website misspeed.tv i've been posting a lot over there something that i want to do because i love you guys and i really appreciate all the love and all of the support is i want to start doing shout outs so i'm going to pick some of my favorite comments make sure you comment down below let's stay interactive and i'll stay tuned for next week's video when i start doing the shout out so yeah let's go ahead and get into this video i was watching that last episode before this one and when diamond blueberry told cisco unleash the dragon I have a daughter. She looked like she was going to shat all over herself. We pick up at the family dinner with Pita and Tara. You guys don't know how hard it is for me to say Tara because mine is pronounced Tara. But either way, we're just going to keep it moving. And Amina, who is the woman with Peter's other child that's on the way, comes up and was like, I saw your car across the street. <laughs> he had to get up he was like daddy gonna be right back I, oh my god oh shit daddy gonna be right back i'm gonna handle this amina what's wrong with you he was like oh man i totally forgot about amina uptown baby uptown when i heard that tar wanted to have you know lunch with the boys i was like yeah and uh -huh. i trust you peter I cannot trust you. I cannot trust you every time. She was giving me Cuba Gooding Jr. and Boys and Hood. I can't trust you every time. Every time. Every time. That's how we were looking at her. Ma'am, stop it. She plops her little pregnant self on the street. You can't be sitting on the street like a puppy. Get your ass up. I felt the same way. Get your ass up off that nasty floor. Get up, girl. What is wrong with you looking all cute? And you pregnant. You think, oh, got people thinking something wrong with you. Ushers, come get her. That's how I felt. Come get her off of the floor. Jesus, sweat. Mm, 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 mm. Peter was like, you know, um, I feel bad. And I thought he was talking to Amina. No, his ass is back at the table about to sit down and order another entree. Sir, get your families together. Your, get them together. Tara was like, you know what, Peter? I'm just going to go talk to her. Let me go talk to Amina. I was like, shit, me. <laughs> Bless little Amina. She was like, I just want to know what's going on. What's going on? Tar was like, well, that's my family. I've told you that that's my family. Why don't you just take them back? And I feel the exact same way that Amina felt. Why don't you just take them back, girl? Why don't y'all just go into the sunset, start boning again, and you get back into that same routine? Because apparently you like it. Tara, she's just a contradicting herself. I mean, well, we've always had, we've had this routine where he just comes in, he leaves, and he comes back, and I just let him back in. And you just messed that up when you got pregnant. What am I, what do you want me to do? Uh -huh, uh -huh. What are y'all doing, Tar? What What do you want, girl? Tar was really like, well, whenever you have your baby, you can get your time too. I'm sorry. Once you bring a child into this world with Peter Guns, then you'll get the time that you need. I Get with the program, sister. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Get up off the street. Get in your car and go home, Roger. That's all I wanted to discuss with you. Okay, Amina. Are you okay? All right. I'm looking at both of them like... I don't know what Peter Gunn, what type of magic juice that he has. Um, I don't know what kind of magic dust or berries that he has in his back pocket, but um, wow. Cisco meets with rich slobbers, two creeps meeting together. I swear, and they admitted that both of them full of shit. I love, at, at least you're admitting it. Cisco was like, you know what? I was hanging with Shorty. She was like my LA boo, you know what I'm saying? It was a good little vacation every month. You know, I was like, wow. I gave her that golden dick, you know what I'm saying? The dick. I was like, I even had to holler laughing i was like are y'all for real okay wow so rich he's still you know like i i still don't understand what's going on and he was like well you know what she knows that i have a kid but she don't know that i got a six month old with the same girl i was like oh, oh, oh. rich and i were like oh my god y'all whoa this is another you are now the president of the creep club for once in my life i agreed with rich you have been promoted sir you have been vote we voted and you are now the president you know what diamond blueberry like the lie unleash the dragon likes the lie they just like the lie together what kind of relationship is this just based on lies how y'all gonna how y'all gonna make it 
Speaking of messy relationships, Erica hasn't heard from Sin. So she goes to talk to her best friend forever, Al B. She was like, I realized that I got caught. I really love baby girl, but this relationship is in limbo. I don't know what we gonna do. Al B was like, well, look at Lucky. I got a little, you know, something, something on your girl Sin. She was rolling, you know, down the street. I was like, oh, hey, girl. But a dude was rolling in her core, okay? And come to find out that might be her dude, dude. Like, she been with baby boy for a minute and you good. Damn, Sin, you got a dude and a chick? <sighs> wow. Their relationship is past being in the red. That relationship is in the magenta. Yandy and parentheses, they are back on their workout grind. Um, parentheses, he's gained some weight while he was in the pen. I guess the extra Twinkies and stuff didn't do him too much good. Yandy, she done come up again since he been in prison. You know, working out, getting a boob done. Parentheses was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. You gonna have to come back down to earth. And she was like, nah, bro, you gonna have to come where I'm going. Okay, sweetie? I was like, yes, Yandy, you better do that. And whoever did parentheses teeths love them great investment Hootie -hoo! it's time for the sin and erica showdown this is what i was waiting for sin was like you know what i'm just tired erica i'm tired erica was like well if you upset that i'm always in the strip club i stay in the strip club i'm not gonna change for nobody oh shoot she is about to turn into the hulk you full of shit erica Ooh, Erica was like, I know that you fucking niggas. I was like, oh, no, no, no. The hollering got louder. A vein was giving West Side connection on her forehead. I was like, whoa, Erica, you really turned into somebody else when you were upset. Jesus. The, ooh, oh, my. Then it was a back and forth with the who sucked who's dick club. I was like, oh, uh, I mean, both of you probably did. So, hey, call a thing a thing. Sin got up first and had like a little whoop de whoop Erica was like, oh, uh-uh. And kind of, I saw his little shove. I didn't see it up close. I don't know what really had happened was. But Sin was like, I can't believe she touched my face. And Erica was like, you dead to me. You buried. I was like, why is it? I've noticed a lot of Northerners, whenever they get upset or whenever it's a wrap, they're like, you dead to me. You buried in the casket. Cremation. I'm like, we get it. You're finished. I, I Okay, sorry. Lord, love is blind, child. Erica, you, don't be putting your paws on people. Keep your hands to yourself. Stop. I don't know why people like to get real buck and start tapping. Stop doing that. Put your hands. Put your hands down. And here's another thing. Stop hollering. Maybe that would help. And doing all this. You ain't got to do all that. Calm your nerves. Calm down. I know her pressure was high. That's why she needed a cigarette when she got outside. But Erica, you were way out of line for that one, boo. Jumping up and tapping people. You don't do that. And sin, keep your fingers out of people's face. Especially if you know their ass is crazy. Wow, so we're at Amina's apartment. I don't even know if Peter stays there. She putting up the baby stuff. Peter, Peter, you are now a tribute. Go, leave. She goes through the same thing again. And she was like, and you know I'm stressed. In the same old, same old, he giving her the run around. I'm gonna do better. Then she puts a whammy on him. The baby small Peter. He was like, what the? What you mean the baby small? How, when were you gonna tell me? She was like, your ass ain't never home, Peter. Yo, how did this happen? And she was like, well, it wasn't no bad spaghetti meals. Ah, uh, I'm stressed, bruh. It's your fault, bruh. He says he's gonna do better. Um, yeah, we'll see. So Cisco, he goes to see his mama. He was like, do you really love Diamond Blueberry, Cisco? Do you even know what love is? And he was like, holla, 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 look at him, boo. I done went through a lot with you, and you the first woman that broke my heart. So uh, you have a lot to do with this, sweetie, okay? I've forgiven you, but woo, I got a lot to deal with. Lord, bless little Cisco. He done went through a lot. I really don't see him as much as a monster as I used to because everybody has a story. But you can't be hurting people, sweetie. You can't be doing that just because you are hurt. He doesn't know how to love or to receive it. And uh, that's so, oh. Unleash the dragon, Cisco. Tara is meeting Yandy. So they go through the womp womp about what happened earlier. Actually, Yandy, there's a new situation. We're taking the boys on a vacation together. Yandy was like, whoa, I felt just like Yandy. Wait one second. Where y'all going? Disney World? She was like, actually, we're going to Barbados. What the hell are two little boys going to do in Barbados? What are they going to do? How they going to remember that? Hmm? Y'all better off taking them to Chuck E. Cheese, Monkey Joseph's, um, something Junction. I, there's some other places. I feel like Tara is that chick off of the notebook. What do you want, sweetie? What do you want? Erica meets with Rashida and they talk about everything that's going on with Sin. And honey, you know what's crazy in this day and age? Social media 
kills relationships. It really, really does. And it's so crazy how people how people let other people in their relationship and dictate what happens in their relationship. It's it's crazy. Erica was like, uh, there might have been a little physical altercation. And Rashida was like, a physical altercation? Spill the beans. Personally, I saw a shove. I didn't see it close, close, close. Erica thought she was gently cradling Sin's face. Sin was like, bruh, you don't put them paws on me. Kudos to Rashida for coming through and being like, you know what, boo, I love you. I've always been in your corner. I've known you since you were 16, but that you do not do that, sweetie. You don't put your hands on people. You know better. You know better. You know better, girl. That relationship is super unhealthy. If you are going back and forth all the time, you argue more than you you are happy it's too much all that arguing and fighting and oh oh my god i don't care how good it is next you uh uh <laughs> yandy in parentheses they go to black ink they're getting their names tattooed on each other and it's a surprise where they're getting it at he got one on his wrist she got one on her finger now i will admit Finger tattoos really hurt. I know, believe me, I know. But honey, it did not take that much. They talk about a, oh, oh, ah. Uh-uh, it, it's not, uh-uh. The pain, it's not that horrible. Their pain threshold might be a little bit different. It's time for the baby shower. Oh, Amina, she looks so pretty. I don't know what it is about preggers women. They just glow. Erica ended up doing this shower. Won't he do it? Come on, Erica, you can come through. You can execute. You can do better. I see it. The whole time she was like, oh my God, I'm at the party, but I'm not really at the party. I want to know if Sin's going to be at the party. And as soon as they talk about Sin, here she comes. They go in the center of the room to talk. And Sim was like, I want to go first. And Erica was like, no, I want to go first. I'm sorry. Sim was like, Erica. Erica was like, I, I just want to be better for you. I've never wanted to be better for nobody else but you. And I'm like, oh, Lord. Jesus, fix it. We gonna see what happens with them, but sidebar, I love that peach jumper sin. You better do that, boo. Let's go and Diamond Blueberry meet at a party. Shanae like the party. To find out, he is giving her a surprise party by introducing everybody as his boo, his little main squeeze from LA. She's here. She moved here. This my lady, D'Angelo. Yes. Oh, that took a lot out of me, Jesus. Ah, that's how he looked. He was like, the whole time she's like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he claimed me. He proposed. No, he didn't. No, no, no. He didn't propose, but he, he claimed me in public. Good job, Cisco. Now you can take her to your apartment. Let her see where you stay. That That's the next thing up. Your baby steps. Baby steps. He now wants to spill the beans about his six month old son at the party. I mean, geez, can she pop a bottle or two? Can she have fun? Can she fondle your balls on the way home? Something. At least let her be on this high. He starts out, he was like, yo, you know, um, you know, I like crunchy peanut butter. You like smooth peanut butter. I got a six month old son. She was like, what? What? She is so freaking dramatic. I, you know, I don't blame her either. But at the same time, she was like, what? First of all, who's the bitch? We're going to get into that next week. Next week should be really good. Tara, she raises her voice for once. Diamond Blueberry, she want to know who the bitch is and who would dare cheat a Diamond Strawberry Blueberry, girl. And we'll sin. And Erica stated that, well, the cat is already out the bag. Down below in the comment section, let me know what you thought about this episode of Love and Hip Hop. This episode, it was... <sighs> It wasn't a boring filler, but it didn't have too much. It wasn't too, too, too juicy yet. I, it was a hype. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless.